So a completely underutilized tool uh, that marketers have at their disposal is using the split test functionality inside of GetResponse to test your different email copies, subject lines, from lines, to see which gets you the most opens and the most clicks and the most results at the end of the day. So again, for me, marketing is all about, this is the fun part of marketing, having these novel breakthroughs, um, looking at your results and asking yourself, I wonder why that happened. And then using that to drive further, better results and then sharing those results with others. That's really all we do as marketers, is we go out, and especially online, because everything is so new and novel, we go out and we figure stuff out, and then we continue to evolve, and we share what we figured out with others. That's, that's the whole circle of life here. And so all I want to do here real quick is just show you how to set up a quick email A-B split test using GetResponse. So the way you do that is once you're logged into your account, you go to Messages, Create Newsletter, and click New Email. And I, you know, I don't have anything set up, so we'll just call this Split Test Email. And for a from line, we'll use, let's just use a regular Dagan Smith. Um, of course, we want to track our click-throughs, and we turn on Google Analytics. So we can get some data from that later, potentially. And other than that, in order to set up a split test, all you gotta do is down here where it says A-B test, go from off to on, make the little blue um, beaker light up as blue, and the red one light up as red, and the magic has begun. Click Next. And for me, I always just start from scratch, blank template, and on this blank template, I'll just start with the text block, and just type some stuff. And I'll, well, I'll unbold it later. All right, so that could be my entire message, right? Doesn't have to be any more complicated than that. Um, yeah, other than that, I mean, uh, the, I'll click next, and then I'll talk a little bit about what comes next here. So what we can split test, you can see very clearly. We can split test subject lines from fields, who the email is coming from, we can split test content, what's actually in the email, or we can split test delivery time, what's the best time to send out this email. And you just choose what you wanna test. If we wanna test different subject lines, then we just leave that as mark, mark like that, and we would just put in a different subject line here. If you wanna check split test from lines, maybe I split test from Dagan Smith, compared to from, you know, breaking news, right? It's all extremely simple. Content, again, same thing. That's the message one, then you would just choose a different message or write a different message. Um, let's just, let's leave this simple and let's just do split, let's just choose uh, subject lines and we'll do split test two. All right, and we could add more different variations. Now here's a little caveat with GetResponse. When you set up a split test, don't do it in a time urgent situation because what happens is when the split test runs, it has to run, I believe, for 24 hours and then it'll tell you which version won. And then, and what it also does is it sends out that email to a portion of your list. So let's say you have 10,000 people on your list uh, 2,500 people might get version A, and 2,500 people might get version B, 
then after the test is run, you can send to the other 5,000 people with the winning version. It, I don't really like that part of it. It, it seem, seems to take more time than is necessary, in my opinion. So it's just something to, to be to take note of and put into the equation when you use this. But uh, it, this is how you do it. And uh, that's just the one caveat to kind of take into consideration. And like I said, uh, we can choose whatever segment we want. Let's just say we choose that. So like I said, it, one version is going to go to 25%. The other version is going to go to the other 25%. Then you just set these final settings. Send best message automatically. I typically leave this as off because I'd rather send it out at the time I want to send it out. Um, you can turn it on and have it be a little bit more hands-free. Again, can't really break it. Uh, choose best message by, and you can choose the best message by either which one gets the most opens or which one gets the most clicks. So for me, most of the time I'm more concerned with clicks because that's going to be closer to creating a conversion that's going to make money. Um, but either way, you know, it's, it's totally up to you. And um, yeah, see, this is the only part. Test analysis duration upon each message delivery. The least amount of time you can choose is one day. I wish we could choose less, but that's just how it's set up now. Maybe they'll change that in the future. Do you want to get sent a message upon... Um, completion of the test, no or yes, and then you just choose which email you'd like to get that notification. Once you've done that, you're done. You know, everything else is the same. Um, and I'll actually, I think I'll dig in here and I'll show you a, a couple different tests that I've done. But really, that's all there is to this. So let me go back in here and exit this. If you have questions on the process, let me know, but just walk through it. I mean, it's, it's really simple stuff. So let's go to my newsletters. And we can see the ones that I did A-B test on because you can see them right here. And um, let's do, let's choose this one. You can see after a day, it'll show you which one, uh, which version was the best. And what's interesting to me, honestly, now I've sent out, let's say, four or 5,000 probably more, that's probably on the low end, that's probably conservative, four or 5,000 emails over the last few years. So what's interesting to me is most of the time, the original version of the email, when I do tests like this, ends up being the best version, which is, it's always interesting to me. And I'm actually curious right now because it's not showing any of the differences in, in this actual test. Let me see if this one does. All right, so this one actually just shows us a little bit of the, the different variations. So you can see for this one, we can see, again, the first version one, um, more opens and more clicks. So clearly that's the winner. And once you have the winner, then you send that out to the rest of the list, like for here. You can see that this version, once it was chosen as the winner, um, or I, I can't see the results, but this version got sent out to the rest of the list for whatever reason. It must have been a winner on some on some level. But uh, this is what the data looks like at the end, and that's the magic. So how do you use this? For me, the best way to use this is if, for instance, you've got real... <clears throat> the best way to use this is if you've got a really important series of messages that you want to send out. And you want also to allow affiliates or something like that to also send out your message. So you want to split test to figure out what's the best version, especially if you have an army of people that are going to use your copy as well, and arm them with the best of what you got. Or um, if you're setting up an autoresponder sequence, you might want to send out what would be that auto autoresponder sequence as a as broadcast at first, and then split test different variations. What's the best subject? What's the best from? What's the best body, etc. And once you've got that figured out, then go back and install that as the autoresponder sequence. Even if it's just for learning, it's still very valuable because it let it opens you up to questions like, well, I wonder why that worked better, right? 
So that's how you do basic split testing using Git response. Uh, that's it. Questions, let me know. And um, yeah, simple stuff.